Hey guys, welcome to Depth Cameras. Depth Cameras are powerful sensors for scanning structure of the physical space. In this section, we'll discuss using various Depth Cameras in open frameworks. We'll start with Microsoft Connect V. We'll start with Microsoft Connect V1 and V2. Then we'll discuss stereo. Then we'll discuss Stereo Labs ZED camera. Let's move on to Microsoft Connect V1. We're going to take a look in depth cameras at a whole. Consider characteristics of Connect V1. Then we'll run an example of OFX Connect add-on and explore the example structure. A depth camera is a camera which measures distance from camera to objects. This outputs the frames, which are raster images. The pixels of these images hold the distance values. If we have a depth image and no geometric properties of the camera, it's possible to obtain 3D point cloud representing the scene observed by the camera. Moreover, it's possible to represent human body as a model consisting of a set of connected cylinder, consisting of a set of connected cylinders, and fit this model on a depth image, captured real human body. As a result, we find coordinates of human's body key points, such as hands, shoulders, among others. This technology is called skeletal tracking. Using depth image, it's easy to perform depth thresholding. It's easy to perform depth thresholding and obtain silhouette of the human in the scene. This technology is easier to use than traditional chromo king technology because it doesn't require monochrome background. Using 3D point clouds, it's possible to detect objects like hands and feet near a wall and on a floor. This way, we create interactive surfaces. Using skeletal tracking, it's possible to recognize human gestures. Microsoft Connect V1 is historically the first available cheap depth camera. While it's quite an old product, and replaced by Microsoft Connect V2, its popularity is still high in the area of creative applications. It costs less than $100. Now there are two models of the Connect camera. The first is for the game console X Xbox 360. The second one is for Windows. To connect the Xbox camera model to a computer, you're required to have a special adapter. This adapter is included in Connect for Windows. Connect measures distances from 80 centimeters to 4 meters. Connect measures distances from 80 centimeters to 4 meters. Additionally, the Connects model, called Connect for Windows, supports the so-called near mode, with ranging starting from 40 centimeters. Connect poorly sees black, bright, reflective, or semi-transparent surfaces. The horizontal field of view is 57 degrees. Vertical is 43. It sees a horizontal it sees a horizontal object with a length of 1 meter from a distance of 1 meter. Connect outputs depth image from resolution 640 per 480 with resolution 640 per 480 pixels at 30 frames per second. But native depth resolution is lower and is artificially enlarged to the size. The accuracy of the depth measuring depends on the distance, but average value is 2 centimeters. Also, the device has color camera of moderate quality. Connect V1 is based on active infrared, is based on active infrared lighting using laser so it works even in darkness. It actually works well only indoor and artificial light, but poorly on sunlight and outdoors. For using Connect V1 in open frameworks, there are two main possibilities. Use an OFX Connect add-on or OFX Open Knee add-on. First one is a core add-on, working on all desktop platforms. It allows to get the depth, color, infrared images, as well as 3D point cloud. Second add-on, Open NI add-on. The second add-on uses OpenNI library and provides the same functionality as OF Connect add-on. Additionally, it has skeletal tracking capability. Currently, it works only with old Open Frameworks version 0.7.4. Note that on OS X, these add-ons work only with some Connect V1 models. Do check the add-ons readme files and forms for more details. Now we work with the OFX Connect add-on by running and exploring its example. If you're working in Windows or Linux, then before running the example, you're required to install some drivers. To do this, please read and follow add-ons readme file carefully. Now check the add-ons example. Go to Examples Add-ons folder. Here's Connect Example Project, which demonstrates using Connect V1 with OFX Connect add-on. Running it, we see depth image at the top left part of the window. The darker points means bigger distance to the object from the camera. The right image is a color RGB picture. It's aligned with the depth image. The third image is a threshold depth image. The threshold value is here. In this example, it's measured not in millimeters, but in values from 0 to 255, 
corresponding to the brightness of death image. On this image, blobs are detected and shown by the green. The blobs bounding boxes are shown by the magenta. To adjust the threshold value, press minus and plus keys. Press P to switch to the 3D point cloud view. You could rotate, move, and scale the scene by dragging the mouse using its left, middle, and right buttons. Double click returns. Double click returns the original virtual camera position. Let's explore how it works. In the beginning of the OFApp.h file, we include add ons header. Also, you see that we include header for OFX OpenCV add-on, which is used here for computing threshold depth image, and search it for blobs on it. Here's the main declaration of the example. It's object connect, belonging, belonging to class OFX connect. The next line, we see conditional declaration of the second device. To enable it, uncomment this line. Other declared variables and objects store parameters, like threshold value for depth thresholding, and images for computing and storing threshold depth image. Do take note on the B on the B draw point cloud variable. This is a flag storing if 3D point cloud mode is enabled. Move on to the OFApp.cpp code. Here we enable aligning depth and color images. We initialize connect to get depth and color images. Comments below explains other opportunities. We start connect to grab the data. This block of code outputs to the console information about connect's internal parameters. This code optionally starts the second device. This code tilts connect to the neutral position. In real situations, we often need to comment out this line because we do not want connect to move after each program start. Now on to the update method. This code is really similar to the code for working with web camera. We call connect's update method, check if we get a new frame, and read depth data to gray image object. The following code performs computing threshold depth image and searches for blobs using OFX OpenCV add-ons capabilities. In the draw method, we output three images, depth, color, and threshold images. Also, we overlay contours of blobs over the third image. This code draws 3D point cloud. At first, it enables virtual camera, then draws points. Finally, disables the camera. Consider the method used for drawing the point clouds. It's the main code of the example because it shows how to get and use 3D model and use 3D models of the scene. Observe by connect. This code gets 3D points coordinates. This code gets 3D point coordinates in millimeters, as well as corresponding colors, and puts them to the mesh object intended for drawing 3D objects. We scan pixels of connect's depth image with step two. So we skip each second. So we skip each second column and row from the consideration to have the fast frame rate of the project. Before adding the point to the mesh, we check that the corresponding depth image pixel has non-zero value because zero value means no data at the pixel. A situation could occur due to long distance, occlusion, or some other reason for Connect's inability to measure the distance at the pixel. Finally, we set drawing point size to three and draw points collected in the mesh, in the mesh object. In this video, we got basic knowledge about depth cameras and explored working with Connect V1 using OFX Connect Core add-on.